today's topic is uh, multiplication of polymers. And then I introduce method of detached coefficients. What we do now is multiply two polynomials. Okay, we have five x cubed minus four plus three x square. This polynomial multiply. Three x square minus two x plus five. Okay, we multiply these two polynomials. First of all, we noticed that this is not in the right order. You see, cube here. And the square here, we should put this in the middle, yeah? cube, square, and so on. So let's rewrite this. This is okay, because you see square, and this is exponent 1, and this is uh, a constant. So I need to rewrite this, and then multiply. Okay. <clears throat> I have rewrite this, put this in the middle, put this in the second term, power 3, power 2, and no x. However, before I do multiplication, I still need another term because I need 3, 2, and 1, and then constant. So what I write is, plus 0 times x, and then minus 4. Now I'm OK. I have cube, square, and this is power 1 and constant. So I need this. Then I can do multiplication. So let me erase this. Now I write Oops, it's not it's not square, it's cube. Okay, then I multiply the other polynomial, which is 3x square minus 2x plus So I multiply this. So three 
sorry that uh, this pen doesn't work very well. But let's go on. So we multiply. This time that is 15x to the exponent 5. And the next is this term multiply this term. I have 9x to the exponent 4. Oh my, I cannot write this. Such a poor quality pen. Oh. <sighs> Let's see. I may have another one, but it's not this color. Let's see whether you can bear with me. I have to use another pen. 9x to the power. 9x to the power 4. This times that is 0. 0x to the power 3. This times that is negative 12. Negative 12x squared. Okay. The next is this times that, which gives me negative 10x to the power 4. Negative 10x to the power 4. And this times that is negative 6 to the power 3. And this times that is 0. This times that is negative, negative becomes positive, with positive 8x. Okay, the so next is this times that is 25x cubed. This times that is 15x squared. This time that is 0x. This time that is minus 20. Okay. Then, just like usual multiplication, we need to add everything. Okay. This is add. So, 15x to the Exponent 5, adding nothing here, nothing here, so it's, it's 15x to the power. If 15x exponent 5. This and this put together is, uh, add together is negative x exponent 4. The three terms, this is zero, so you just add these two terms, which is plus 19x cubed. And this is zero, so you just put these two together, it should be plus 5, uh, plus 3x square. Well, this is square. This is square. This is 0, so it's 8x. This is minus 20. So I have my results. This is the product. This is the result of multiplying two polynomials. This is how you do it. You follow me? I hope you follow everything, right? It's not difficult. However, I want to introduce the method of detached coefficients. 
What does that mean? I separate the coefficients from the variables. This is how I do it. I just erase the x, all the x's. I need to erase it. I don't need it. Because this is, if you write the x here, x there, it's, it is just a waste of time. Why do we need to write x? Let's erase it. Erase all the variables, all the unknown x. Okay? You see that if I want to multiply two polynomials, I just write down the coefficients of the first polynomial and the coefficients of the second polynomial. Then I just multiply this times that, this times that, and put down the results. <coughs> I multiply the usual way. But do not write x. Multiply. And then, of course, it is, this is multiplication. You need to add. Okay, so this is the result of adding. But what is my final result? The final result, of course, contains x. But when I do this, I erase all the x's. Now I need to put the x back. This is x to the power 0. So this is x to the power 1. I put x back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is my final answer. So this method, you don't write the x, but write all the coefficients and do the usual way, the multiplication. The final result, then you put the x back. This is called method of detached coefficients. What is the benefit? It saves your time. You can do this in less time. This is very beneficial if you do an exam at school. Because in an exam, there may be many, many questions uh, sometimes you find the time allotted, the time given to you is not enough to finish all the questions. Therefore, you need shortcut. You need simple ways of doing questions so that you can save your time and to check your results. Do you get it? Yeah. So next time we will give you more examples on detached coefficients method. It applies not only to multiplication, it also applies to division. So next time we will give you more examples. Today we stop here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.